All right, Gianna, the, the ballots are in and vote counting has officially begun for the 2022 midterm elections. In California, the Latino community represents a large percentage of voters. So this morning, we invited CBS correspondent and Emmy Award winning journalist Enrique Acevedo to talk to us about the significance of the Latino vote in elections here and across the nation. Good morning, Enrique. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we want to get to this. What impact do you think Latinos are having in this election, and what are they really paying attention to when it comes to some of those key issues? Well, let's look at size first, at the scale of the what we call the Latino vote or Latino voters. They're the second largest group in our electorate and the fastest growing. What I mean by that, to put it in perspective, is that between 2018, the past midterm election, and 2022, around 4.7 million uh, Latinos became eligible voters. That's 60% of the total number of new voters or new eligible voters in, um, in the entire country. So they account for six out of every 10 new voters. Um, those are the numbers around the scale of what we call the Latino vote. That's why it's so important. That's why both parties are starting to invest more resources, more energy to try to engage with these voters, to try to dismiss the myth that they are not enthusiastic about the political process because the political process um, will, uh, uh, Latinos will engage with the political process to the extent that that process engages with them. So um, there were, you know, especially Latino youth were key in uh, crucial races uh, across the country, not just in the states where Latinos are a majority um, or, or the largest demographic segment, like uh, in the case of uh, Texas, um, but I think just across the country in key races where that, uh, you know, one or two percent become a, becomes a decisive uh, decisive advantage for for candidates, and then uh, we saw Latino youth coming out of vote and supporting uh, mainly Democratic candidates. Yeah, I know, and you touched on it a little bit. More and more, we're seeing uh, candidates trying to find ways as to how they can appeal to Latinos here. I wanted to ask you, what are some of the key issues that Latinos are paying attention to? And I know sometimes people tend to put us in a box, but is there a difference when it comes to uh, the way that Latinos vote in California compared to other states, say like Florida? That's a great question. I think there's even a difference uh, on how Latinos uh, vote in California in different counties, uh, in different cities, right? Um, you have Mexican Americans, mainly in California, who uh, uh, have been here for, for longer and uh, care about different things that people who just arrived or are first uh, generation immigrants. Um, I, I think Latino voters care about the same issues that the general electorate does, the economy, inflation, things related to education and their health. But there's also a set of, of factors um, where Republicans did a good job engaging with these voters in the past few months. That's why we saw that apparent shift to the right. And those have to do with identity, country of origin, religion. More and more Latinos are identifying themselves as Christians, not Catholics. And, and then the, the, the labels and the discussion around identity, how we identify ourselves, which is a an ongoing conversation, and then people try to just assign a label, and, and sometimes that doesn't sit well with, with many Latinos. But you're right. Um, you know, uh, here in Florida, for example, people uh, can see a very diverse Latino electorate. Cuban Americans vote differently from Colombians or Venezuelans, and, and that's part of the complexity and the diversity people need to recognize in our community. Yeah, thank you so much, Enrique Acevedo. This is something that is so important to talk about. And like we've been saying, more and more candidates are trying to find ways to appeal to Latinos. So we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much.